Just when we thought the peak has ended, no. Skichiro shows up out of nowhere and assaults high school students. This is his first impression. And I think of all the characters' first impressions, their introductions, I thought that Koenji was the most fascinating. Because when you watch Classroom Delete for the first time, episode one, what does Koenji do? He's like, bitch, I'm not going to get up for a granny. <laughs> I refuse to contribute to society. I thought that was such a definitive moment because bro is committing to the act. He isn't helping at all, only when it helps himself. I thought that was a pretty strong impression. But goddamn, this boomer geezer, Skishiro, I think I need to give him more respect. Bro just shows up, kicks Arisu's fucking cane, pushes Ayano Koji down, but I hear in the light novel, Ayano Koji actually caught Arisu, meaning the anime studio, the anime is like, nah, we gotta make Skishiro even more GOAT status. Is he part of the white room? I think it's the, the, the most... Uh, intuitive level one thinking is yes he's sent by papa koji and my biggest theory is that if papa koji can't bring out koji back to the white room why don't we bring the white room to the school so the school is suddenly the white school and skishido is an agent acting on behalf of papa koji but maybe it's something else maybe, maybe there's like a fucking insane plot twist and skishido is actually on anakoji's side and we just never knew i don't really know but hey we got a special exam coming and i think the most important thing is like the proxy chess war between arisu and anakoji right no one can really get expelled but hey still gonna be fun let's begin today's reaction though quote of the day first cause of an absurd conclusion i ascribe to the the first cause of absurd conclusions i ascribe to the want of method is this English? I ascribe to the want of method. I feel like I'm reading broken English, but it's probably my monkey brain. Shit makes no sense to me. All right, let's go. That stream. They watch streams. Wait. All right. They're, they're about to watch us Twitch watchers. Uh -huh. Your precious friends. You mean your classmates? What about me, Chan? You shit on Michan last episode. You threw a fucking fit. Is Michan that important? These are your friends? Really? Mask off. Is this 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 is uh Hirata's uh Hirata boy's uh, monologue, right? Okay, because they usually skip the monologue from the light novel. I hear that each light novel chapter starts with like a character's monologue. During that incident in middle school, I messed up. Okay, my theory on why Hirata's like this. Is because, I don't know, there's like a... In the past, there was some kind of leadership that really reminded him of how Susan is leading it. And it turned out really bad and traumatic for him. What? What mistake did you make? What? 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 It's and the answer I read for that is to throw a fucking chair and say, Shut the fuck up, Michan. Yo, Michan deserves better than Hirata, dude. Michan deserves so much better than Hirata, boy. Yeah, look at this. And you said you're going to take her out. I'm gonna vote you instead of Yamauchi. Like, what? He made the same mistake. So he did the same shit in middle school? He lashed out like that? So, interesting. But if you look at the, like, the body language, right? Hirata is usually where all the girls flock onto. But now, everybody's kind of just like going away from him, huh? Alright, no opening episode. No opening means it's gonna be peak. Oh, we got an informant? Stock him? Baldi! Yeah! Baldi! Class, you know, the Baldi, because we sent the vote to Yachiho, right? So Baldi should be kind of like... And, and there were scenes before where Baldi and Anokoji were kind of like looking out for each other, right? So I think there is a connection there made, right? But Arisa should have already anticipated this. I call him Yachiho. Yachiho is from prison... Sorry, not prison school! Chain Soldier! Yahiko, who the fuck? You don't know who Yahiko is. Don't don't act like you guys fucking remember Yahiko's name. Ain't nobody know who the fuck Yahiko is. Baldi's right hand man. And he lost all his hair too. He's too honorable for that. I don't know. Hair transplant. We'll send it to Turkey for Turkish hair transplant surgery. Maybe Hatsurage will be compelled by this. Yes, hair transplant! Oh, Katsuragi comes to our class? Everybody... Okay, let's get real. Who the... You really think our dumbass fucking class, these monkeys are gonna be able to gather up 20 million points together? No shot. That's gonna take like fucking 20 years. 
Let's get Daddy Nagumo to borrow 20 million points and we go on a date with them, right? And, 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 and then and then we can get Baldi back in. And Ichinose now doesn't have like 60 mil points anymore, right? Because they used all those points to save a student. So Ichinose is also broke now, huh? Hmm. No. Oh wait, Baldi scene? Baldi scene? Hair transplant surgery. Free plane ticket to Turkey. Ooh. What the like? Okay, it's 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 again. It, it's it's not like um. You know what the most fucked up thing about how like people make ball jokes about him? Yes, I I understand that, but but like. The most fucked up thing is how Studio Lurch literally like did Baldi this dirty, right? So like straight up look at this picture right now. I'm, I'm about to show you something, okay? Like how does that make sense? Like why would you draw that dent in? Why like why 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 would you do this to him, huh? Like I don't understand the logic of why the anime studio would draw a fucking line to show his fucking head dent, dude. It's so mean. <laughs> Oh, it's a secret. Dodgeball! Chess! <laughs> Yo, we should get Ryuin and Baldi to gang up on Sakayana again, kick her fucking cane and bully her like that. I bet Baldi will be into that. Bully her! Jump rope and dodgeball. I want a jump rope and dodgeball competition, that seems so fun! Baldi height? Wait, Baldi's gonna flash match? <laughs> Could you imagine Baldi fucking doing jump ropes? Like, that would be the funniest shit, dude! Put Baldi in gym shorts, just having to jump rope. I don't know, just just the, just me imagining that happening just sounds so funny, dude. Or even Arisu doing jump rope. She can't participate, but you know it'd be hilarious, right? Yeah, Koenji doing jump rope. One other who? Hashimoto? Alright, we're taking a gamble on the flash math with Baldi. Hmm. Hmm. McDonald's. Special lunch set. He likes to, that's the 1800 points, dude. Damn. Where's the free vegetarian dish? Remember when everyone was broke in the first month? <laughs> like EK fucking Yamauchi, they had to buy like the vegetarian dish. Manabu. Yeah. Wrong Horikita. Wrong Horikita. Yeah. No, this. Oh? It's some fancy ass meals? She. Make this. Home? No, no, no. This is. She did not cook this. Is Susan getting a housewife mode right now? She. She actually, she actually cooked this at home? I don't see a fucking kitchen in here. She probably bought this shit, dude. Nah, she, she, she fucking bought this shit and she acting like she fucking made this. <laughs> she did? Fuck. Alright, alright. She cooked in season one, I forget. Oh. <laughs> did you listen to the, listen to the soundtrack? Listen to the soundtrack playing. Yeah, chill. Now you've eaten, huh? Business. Just like how she got us with the special lunch set in like uh, season one, right? She got us a special lunch set. All right, you eating that shit? All right, you owe me now, bitch, for the rest of your life. Baited with food, man. This is a white room L, man. We fell for this twice. I can't read Japanese. Read it out for me. Oh, I wanna. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna read this shit out. Sorry, guys, for the Patreon. If you don't care, skip it. RPS best candidate. Ike Kanji. Wait, why? Why would the best candidate for rock paper scissors be EK? It's a game of non-skill. Chance of success, fifty percent. It could be fucking anybody. All right, EK, the fucking rock paper scissors god. Piano best candidate. Horikita Suzune. Chance of success, 60%. We got piano skills too, right? Tennis, best candidate, Kikio Kushida, 55. Where are you getting, how are you quantifying these numbers? How do you, how are you calculating 55% chance of success? 
Ping pong, best candidate, pseudo. Oh shit, all right, all right. Final special exam class A subject, chance of success with best candidate. Chess, best candidate, none. Chance of success, 40%. Modern lit, and then the rest is basically just like, um, just a test. I don't care about that. Or actually, I should care about this because, like, for example, right? Look at the volleyball, right? The captain's rules. Able to swap out three players at a chosen time, right? Math test, captain's rule. Able to answer one question and test take step. So, there is other special mechanics, but like, should I care about this shit? Like, I bet the anime is gonna skip all this shit and just go to fucking chess, just like the mountain arc. The light novel will probably go into more detail about this. I doubt the anime is fucking covered this shit, man. But basically, special mechanics are in place. No, I just, I want like, EK or like Hondo or some fucking NPC like our professor Hakase to play chess because I think it'd be hilarious if some dumb NPC that no one thinks otherwise is gonna be able to beat class A by having Anakoji tell them how to do the move. You know what I mean? Like Susan is doing that's not fun. I, I need like an actual fucking who the fuck is this character doing it, you know? Mm. All right, let's see, let's see him manipulate. Let's see him manipulate Suzune. Ooh, overnight online dates? Is she a Discord kitten? Hmm. Can't finish all the meal in time. Hirata boy! What about Hirata? Use you. Language. Will you? Or are you gonna be a co-engine now? I refuse to contribute. Ignore Giga Chat! Giga <laughs> Bitch, you think I'm fucking listening? I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> no, Michan, stop! Dude, Michan's gonna get shit on again. No! No! Michan, you deserve so much better. Hirata's gonna be so mean to Michan, dude. Please, someone save Michan from this Hirata boy. Michan! Mm, you dick! You actually want Yamauchi back? It's not, it's not, it's not. It's, it's, it's not about Yamauchi. It's the principle of how Yamauchi was casted out, right? He doesn't give a fuck about Yamauchi. It's everything surrounding it, but still fucking stupid. Stupid. Imagine Michan actually does. So mean! You're a waste of time! Uh, oh! Yo, usually girls in these situations, what they'll do is they'll like um, pinch at the sleeve, right? They'll do, uh, they'll do like a little tug. But fucking Michan was a fucking get your ass back here. Okay, let's Michan cook. What's going on, Michan? No! This guy sucks! This guy fucking sucks! No! No! He, over and over! He's so mean on Michan, dude! Fuck you, Hirata. Fuck you, Hirata. You're the worst. You suck, Hirata. Oh, just... What? You're gonna palm... Hirata boy! Oh, this is why Michan and Koenji are in the light novel cover! Volume 11 or something. They're together... Oh! So Koenji is Michan's like knight? She's he saves her? Yo, why is he posing like that? Dude, the pose is like mm, giga chat. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Yo, what a pose. <laughs> he does sound like Pegasus, huh? Yugi boy. <laughs> He's just posing in the middle of the fucking stairway like a fucking JoJo character, dude. <laughs> yeah? You already have everything you want? I have everything I could possibly want. The only thing left from you is stay out of my sight. You're annoying. Wait, <laughs> wait, you're gonna cry, that's a boy? No, Michan, you're blinded. You're to the simp. No, you should simp for Koenji instead. No, fuck. Fuck Michan Hirata ship. No, no, no. Michan Koenji. That is the true ship, dude. That's right. Just a boy, not a man. Now he hits with the fucking Bakemonogatari peak. <laughs> oh, dude, he keeps fucking Michan up. But look at this. Look at this pose. <laughs> He, 
<laughs> Yo, Koichi might as well just do some shit like... <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. Why is he a fucking JoJo character today? He's posing. He's posing. Now save me, Chen, please, hey, please. Move. Why did you push me, Chen? What are you gonna do about a bitch? Oh. Oh, Giga Chen! Remember what he said to Yamauchi, man? You come on me with murderous intent, don't blame me for what's about to happen, dude. Oh! Dude, look at him! Look at how he's just so casually holding him up like this, hand in the fucking pocket. He's so cool. Like, how could you hate this character? I understand. A lot of people probably think that he's a douchebag. Arrogant, narcissistic douchebag. He is. That's why I love him. He is so cool. He's so unapologetically himself. And that's why we love him, dude. I hope Michan witnesses this. And Michan will be like, damn. Yo, fuck Hirata boy. I want Koenji, man. <laughs> so fucking cool, dude. Giga Chat Koenji moment, man. He keeps popping off this season. Oh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Wait. Take Michan. Take me, Chun! <laughs> Scoop her up like a princess! It's a wrap. It's a fucking wrap! She's fucking it's done. Head over heels. The Riz is insane, dude. Does, okay, good, good, okay. Did, light novel illustration? Is there a light novel illustration for this? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is, is there actually light novel class of the elites? Uh... Uh, season volume, uh, season three, Koenji illustration. Let, let's let's see this. Koenji and fucking Michan, dude. I I I want to actually see this, bro. Dude, I I want to actually see the hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Michan. Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> what is? <laughs> I just saw a hilarious picture, dude. <laughs> they really know how to meme in the subreddit, man. So basically, soy boy at the top, you got K and Koji, Arisu Koji, pseudo Susne, boring. Giga Chad's enjoy the Koenji and Michan ship, dude. This is a true ship. <laughs> dude, the coach subreddit is actually such full of memers, man. All right, all right. Oh, God, dude. He actually just took Michan. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. Mend all that ails you. <laughs> Gentlemen. Ooh. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The way that Mi Chan's like saying, please let me go, please let me go. It kind of feels wrong. But let him cook, let him cook. I already have you. Eh? Have you? Ooh, the side eye. <laughs> Is he? What's going on right now, right? Does does Koenji actually give a fuck about Michan? I don't think so, right? I I I, I don't think Koenji is romantically interested in Michan at this point, right now, right? Not yet, at least, right? This is to just look cool, to just flex on Hirata. What is going on? I just would like to understand like the mindset of Koenji right now. He's just flexing on Hirata. He's just being a giga chad. <laughs> That's that's kind of rich. That's kind of rich coming from Koenji. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're the one hurting those around you. I could argue that you know the shit that he's done or the things that he hasn't done has hurt us more. But anyway, let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> what a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Yo, he really hurt him there. <laughs> oh, he put him down. That's right. He put her down. Nah, Michan, you don't need him. Hirata boy sucks. Michan, you got Koenji now. <laughs> Koji was there the entire time watching. Yo, I swear to God, every fucking time I check these stairways, someone new just appears. Like Koenji just showed up out of no fucking reason. Like, listen, listen, look, 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 look. This entire scene, no one is at the fucking stairway. No one is at the stairway. And then Koenji just shows up just posing like a JoJo character. <laughs> and then Ayano Koji was just watching the entire time. <laughs> and yes, I did read that. I, apparently in the light novel, Michan was carried by Koenji in that position, right? All the way back, right? All the way back. But Koji sees that. Okay, okay. Maybe he realizes how to use Koenji? I don't know. <laughs> Koji? 
Round two. No, no, no. Do you think Koji is here to help Kidata and say, Oh, I'm so sorry that Koji did that to you. Oh, he's such a bully. <laughs> do you need some hug? Do you need some friend? Or... Do you think that Hirata just basically got waterboarded by Koenji? And now, when people are broken down, what does Ayana Koji do? He always breaks people down, then he swoops in! The easiest way to manipulate him! Alright, let him cook! <laughs> yeah, you pushed Mi-chan! <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, you're being very unreasonable, man. Explain yourself. He got the backstory incoming? So that he can manipulate you better? What, what, what will that solve? You have told me. Is that basically closure for Hirata? For someone to be able to like get that? Like maybe he subconsciously wants to tell someone about his backstory but he's been keeping it in. So Anakoji is saying like, yeah, you get to tell me about it. I think that's what he's saying. Oh, you got no idea, man. Okay, middle school backstory. Anakoji looks really serious right now. Okay, friend got bullied. He wants to save him. Okay. And then what happened? Did he die? Oh, okay, he tried to jump. Now, I think that this backstory is a little bit more compelling than Ichino says, you know, she's a criminal. Shoplifting. This is at least like, okay, his friend actually tried to jump to his death. Not like, now it, now it just sound bad. Now I'm like, oh, thank God, at least Hirata's friend tried to commit suicide. Now it's a legit, what the fuck am I saying? You know, the stakes are higher is what I'm trying to say, okay? In Japan, shoplifting is worse, yes. This is actually dark. Because of his, of his own inaction that happened. His friend is in a vegetative state because of his inaction. And now, he's thinking that Yamauchi is gone because of his inaction? Is that what he's trying to tell me right now? Okay. He feels guilty for being a bystander. And Yamachi was also a bystander event. I saw the greatest depth of human darkness. I feel like this line is intentional as we see Anakoji, right? Because as soon as, you know, Hirata said, like, I see a darkness in your eyes, right? Do you really know the greatest depth of human darkness? You really think so? I don't think he understands the greatest depth. I think the greatest depth is the kid in front of you right now trying to fucking manipulate you, trying to fucking break you down and come at you and manipulate you, make you into a tool. I feel like he doesn't know truly what darkness means. Okay. New target for bullying. You do something this time? Okay. Bystanders are becoming bullies now. Basically just like a food chain of whoever is at the bottom, right? They're gonna get topped on. Yeah. That sounded really wrong. So Yamauchi is the one that got, you know, quote unquote bullied. Like, wait, wait, he tried to control with fear? What the fuck can Hirata boy do other than push little Michan, dude? What, what do you mean employ violence? Can you fight? <laughs> Wait. Middle school Hirata boy is fucking Ryuin? <laughs> I can't see this happen! He, he's Ryuin in middle school? Alright. Ruling with vi- Okay, he looks pretty sick right now. I mean, he, he looks kind of sick, right? Bro. I can't take this seriously though, cause you know, the Hidata we know versus the one he's saying he is. <laughs> okay, he's just really strong. <laughs> he destroyed the entire class through violence. Okay, so you put them all in line, sure. And that reminded him of that? But you shouldn't just blindly protect everyone for the sake of protecting them. Yamauchi has a clear reason to fucking get rid of. Like, your ideology, it, it's just so inflexible. It makes no sense. Like, why do you still want to protect Yamauchi on top of this? He's a piece of shit. Whatever. Yeah, 
Yeah, and you rule through fear by just pushing meat sound like three times in every fucking episode. Blame Arisu. Sakayanagi, blame Arisu. The only redemption Hirata's gonna get from me is if he goes back to the bad boy middle school days, turns into Ryuin, and just fucking kicks Arisu's cane. I want Anako to say, yo. Aris is the one that did this to Yamauchi. You should go fight her. <laughs> you should go fucking take her out. Yeah? Yamauchi's expulsion is your fault, Hirata. Let him cook. What do you mean by that? His inaction? No, you were just being emo and you were like punching the fucking elevator. You really... You didn't really do anything now that I think about it. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Okay, this isn't fair. Anakoji helped everybody there, right? I mean, I know what Anakoji trying to say, but come on, you think Ichida did that by herself? You're making excuses, Hirata. Yeah. You should have been prepared like her. Exactly. Society doesn't care. Exactly. He is being an idealistic little prince, huh? So, Hirata gonna take all the blame then? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, we are about to demolish him. I thought Koji was here to, you know, Hirata's already broken down by Koenji. Hirata would manipulate him, but we're not done the breaking down part yet. Yo, is he about to fucking destroy him? This is all your fault. <laughs> Spread your legs, Hirata! Waterboard him! <laughs> Yamarikita! Shallow, helpless student who boasts about wanting to do the impossible. He really is an idealistic little bitch, huh? He never actually does anything. He just spouts ideals and then gets angry when it doesn't work out in his favor. Aonokoji is exactly right. Damn. That's is it just me or is, is it just me or is Koji's voice acting here actually emotionally charged? Usually when Koji talks, there's like no emotion, but I can kind of feel something right now. Maybe it's my head cannon. But watch this dagger. This part. That part. Break him. Oh, on his knees. Now spread your legs, Hirata. It's oh you're gonna cry little baby. Oh you said some so mean words. Oh he missed me fucking Are you gonna fucking cry? You're gonna fucking cry about him? That's how the world works, huh? Those are horrifying cold words. That's it's fucking true though, huh? It's completely true and you need to face it. Mask off, mask off moment kind of Hidata realizes how ruthless he is too. Wait, now we're building him back up. Now it's time to manipulate. Now it's time to manipulate. Huh. I'm gonna cry, little bitch. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I being mean? Am, 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 I, am I being mean? I am being mean. I'm sorry. I just don't have the stomach for characters that's always down on their own luck saying, Oh, poor little me. Oh, me, 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 me. What about my problems? What, bitch? What about me chance problems, huh? I think you deserve this shit, Hirata. He's always thinking about himself, about me, 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 thinking. About, but he spouts the ideals of like trying to save everybody. That's all fucking bullshit. I bet Koenji would never be in this situation. Koenji would have fucking solved it, bro. Bro, Hirata fucking sucks. But let him cook. Right? Let Michan's a bitch though. Gee, why do you hate Michan? But I think Hirata actually needs a reality check, right? Ayanokoji is saying the most ruthless, cold words, but it's necessary. Hirata needs to understand this if he wants to move forward. And I'm all there. I I'll be all there for the redemption arc if he actually is a great tool and he becomes someone cool after this conversation. Great. But so far, his, his story is just like, I don't, like, I don't care, dude. I, I fucking cry all you want. I'm, I'm crying for Michan. <laughs> Okay, that was bad cop, now it's good cop time. Okay. Do I really have to bear the entire burden and keep walking? Bro, this is fucking classroom of the elite where students get expelled. This is not fucking Attack on Titan where you're fucking Captain Irwin or fucking Levi thinking, what about all the fallen comrades? You know, do I have to really continue forward? Like, bitch, no one is dying here. What are you fucking get over yourself? 
<laughs> you can share with you can share with me in private, I guess. There you go, there you go. Yeah, I got you to you can cry to me. Or the something like that. <laughs> Damn, we really broke him down and we're really built. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we're back. He's back. <laughs> that should do it. We, we got our own, like, spread your leg moment, huh? This is a light novel illustration. All right. We got to spread your leg moments. I don't know, Koji broke Hirata down. He's built back up. And I think that he can definitely redeem himself moving forward, right? It's just that he definitely needed the fucking, you know, reality check. But I'm sure a lot of people are going to be, like, super sus about this scene, too, huh? Like, they're, they're going to be like, oh, Hirata fucking Kyo shit. Wow. Hirata Kyo. <laughs> it's Kyo Manabu, <laughs> Kyo Ryuen. Okay. <laughs> And now he's joined their harem. Koji has another waifu. He does that's gonna be forever loyal, huh? Has he said that should do it before? You know? Has he said this line before? I feel like he has. Didn't he say this to K at the end? Remember when he saved K at the waterboarding and he put the jacket and he's like, that should do it. Right? This is his signature line. Yeah. That should do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Each no say two. Each no say sing two. Oh, it's every time. That's a signature line. Micha, stop looking at Hirata's desk. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want Redemption Hirata and Michan and Hirata to get along together again. I want Michan and Koenji, man. Apologize. Okay, good. Yes, for the last three episodes, you were dick. So mean. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think Michan deserves a lot better. I don't, I don't want Michan, and, I don't want Michan and Hirata, but it's like, does Koenji actually romantically care about Michan? Does Michan actually give a fuck about Koenji? I don't really think so, right? That was just a cool scene. It's just, ah, I think Michan deserves better, man. <laughs> oh, he's gonna apologize to the entire club. Oh, whoa! Why the fuck is EK hanging on with the girls right now? Have I been underestimating EK's game? Yo. E EK's got some girls. EK's got a popular. The Hondo is still alone by himself. But look at EK, man. The Riz. Fuck you, Sakura. Get out of my face, Sakura. Sakura, you're wasting frames. All right, he's back. All right. Unification is back. I apologize. Even Susan is like, what the fuck? You remember what he said? He straight up says, Then I'm gonna cast my vote on you, Suzune. You're next! <laughs> it's like, okay, now you apologize. And he acknowledges what she did wasn't wrong. True, he was objectively correct. Yeah, what happened? Hmm. And Koji just sitting silence. The puppet master. He did his thing, man. That should do. Not done yet? Oh, the nighttime uh, chess sessions. Yo, I don't play chess, but I do know that like chess.com has like an ELO rating. I think people above like a 1500 rating, I think pretty high up. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the quantifiable amount numbers are. What would Koji's ELO rating be? Is there, have people like talked about like, like Koji's like, or, or yeah, I know, uh, Arisu's like uh, ELO is? All right, she's getting good. No one can beat me in chess, huh? Did he just play chess all day in the white room? <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> well, the, the Susanae's wins aren't really wins, right? I mean, he just confirmed that. It. It's like he wasn't actually trying, but yeah, 51 to 3, get fucked. Final special exam. Here we go. <laughs> I love how Yamauchi's post credit scene. Team captain meeting spot. Hmm? Skishiro? Oh, Ryuen? Where's Canada? Dragon Boy's captain? Oh, shit. Yeah. Then I will participate. Wait, wait, let, let me help me understand this. Does Ryuen have the protection points or not? I thought that Canada had all the protection points that he was safe. Does Ryuen have... Ryuen doesn't have it. So he's going in raw? Ryuan is going in raw while everyone else is protected? Is that what's going on? 
Holy sh- Rewind's going in raw? Everybody is like, oh, we're, we're not gonna get, you know, we got protection points that we're gonna be captain. Ryu- oh, the return of Dragon Boy, dude. Damn. Even Ichidos is happy. Yo, this is hype to see the redemption. I'm all for this, man. Next episode. Yeah, the four. <laughs> okay, why did Ryuan have. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Everyone has their own little scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me pose for a quick second. <laughs> but hey, Dragon Boy is back. And I think that the top players here, the captains, truly, I believe that the first year is all about understanding who the key players are. So that by the time we go to second year, we'll know who to collaborate with and we'll probably have different opponents, right? So I think like the the rest are like, what, there's more? All right, all right, they're, they're, they're this scene too. All right, they're going to the room. But that is the episode. I truly think that these four key players, along with Baldi and some other key players, right? They're, they're essential for second year moving forward because I'm sure we're gonna have different opponents. But that is the episode, man. Man, I, 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 I know that the, this is like the most important shit, right? Like, like, Anakoji and Hirata stuff, like, this is the most important shit, right? And I'm sure that's what every reactor is talking about. But, like, I'm a fucking meme lord, and I only care about, like, Koenji and, like, other side character scenes. So, <laughs> you know, to me, today's episode, this was the peak shit to me. I don't give a fuck about Hirata backstory. I don't give a fuck about Anakoji. I actually, Anakoji breaking down Hirata was cold, but, like, Koenji just fucking holding Hirata boy up like this. Oh, dude, picking up Michan, carrying her all the way back to the class. This is peak, dude. Michan and Koenji. Truly, I hope that's the shit, but I don't think it's gonna be right. It's probably like a one time scene, right? Michan and Koenji, probably a one time scene. Michan and Hirata seems to be back to normal. Who knows what's gonna happen, but to be honest, I think that this is the true ship and this is what i want from classroom of elite now next couple episodes is gonna be the special exam right we, we got the chest to worry about although i would like to see you know baldi or like odyssey you know doing jump ropes but i'm sure it's all gonna get skipped and we're gonna do chess and susan a will defeat a class somehow i don't fucking know but that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't do this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care